Well, the man officers call the most violent gang leader in Spalding County is finally off the streets. And this all started with a traffic stop and it ended with this same guy hiding in an attic. Hope Ford talked to the sheriff about the arrest and how this showcases a bigger problem here in Georgia. He is a violent person. He is a legitimate bad guy. Myron Watson, a.k.a. Copperfield, is well known to Spalding County Sheriff Daryl Dick. Uh, he was not the one who went out and laid his hands on people, but he had other people do it for him. Deputies arrested the 41 year old on Monday after finding him in an attic. Half a dozen guns and evidence of dog fighting were found in Watson's house along with another gang member. Watson, meanwhile, has a lengthy criminal history. Um, aggravated assaults, uh, kidnapping, uh, witness tampering. At the time that we arrested him, he was out on bond from Tattnall County when he was trying to sneak uh, drugs into the prison down there. Gangs smuggling contraband into prisons is a statewide problem. The GBI says the state's largest gang, the Ghostface Gangsters, use prisons to move drugs, guns, and to recruit. Sheriff Dix, however, says much. recruiting is yeah. moving beyond prisons. And uh, you're starting to see elementary school kids commonly flashing gang signs or with gang graffiti. It goes all the way up through the middle schools into the high schools and everything. The sheriff told me he often hears people refusing to believe gangs in Georgia are as dangerous as the Bloods and Crips of the East and West Coast. But he adds he and his deputies see it every day. Do so many people have to die? Do so many people have to be shot before they meet the level of, of it being considered a real gang? They're not wannabe gang members. They are dangerous individuals. The GBI says there's at least 71,000 gang members across the state. So how does the Spalding County Sheriff plan to tackle the problem? You know, when it comes to gangs, we're an equal opportunity incarcerator. We do everything that we can to make their lives miserable. And the sheriff told me to keep gang members like Watson off the street. They're being charged with multiple violations of the Georgia Criminal Street Gang Act. The act is designed to give more prison time to gang members.